Hey, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, you're looking to store or uh, not use your RV or Mercedes Sprinter for more than three weeks. It's a good idea to disconnect the battery so it doesn't continue to drain um, the power of those batteries. If you read in the manual, there's actually sections in there that will show you and advise that anything over three weeks that you should do this. Now the newer models, 2019 chassis and later, have a hidden um, disconnect and I have located that, verified it, and tried it and it's really pretty awesome. I'm not sure why they had it hidden um, but it does work. I think the older ones may have one down by the brake pedal. Uh, you can verify that one and worst case scenario, you should disconnect the batteries. But I'm going to go through that process with the 2019 and newer. And you can see where the battery cables are going up under the dash there to verify that this is actually the true disconnect. So a couple tips before you do this is wait a full 15 minutes. They say 5, but I wait a full 15 minutes of doing anything so the computer can shut down. You don't want to cause any damage to your vehicles. All you really need is a flat screwdriver to pry off the door um, and you can disengage the bottom of the panel if you need to if you need more room to get your hand in there. You're going to look for this disconnect with the red button and you're basically just going to press down on that button and pull it off. Okay let's actually see uh, ours being done here. So the panel's been removed and I'm going to go in there and I actually have already pulled the um, disconnect off so you can see the uh, connection there. Um, that's the red button. It has been pulled off at this point. I know for the mechanics out there this is probably pretty easy but for those who are not familiar or comfortable with touching some of these cables I just wanted to take the time to show exactly what you would see um, and look for. So here it is with the uh, connect um, just coming off of it, and that's what it looks like. And some here's a, one of an older uh, sprinter, so yours might be near the pedals, and it's actually not hidden in the cabinet, which is nice. But the newer one, it is hidden in the cabinet. Or if you have to disconnect at the battery point, these batteries are right by the driver's seat. You have to remove the panels. Yes, yeah, so one update to this as well, a very important step is that you need to also remove a fuse. The fuse uh, for this area is located under the driver's seat um, on the outside door there, facing the outside door, and it's fuse number 32. We've been told by two different uh, Mercedes Sprinter dealers and technicians that when you do disconnect, you need to remove this fuse so that um, you don't have the auxiliary battery continually uh, needing to have energy from the main battery and it will drain. So um, that is just one uh, real important step is to remove fuse number 32. So I use this handy dandy tool here, the Work Pro. This is awesome because the attachments are long so you can always get into the hard uh, to reach places. In addition, I carry a multi-fuse uh, box has every fuse you need for the RV, the house, the chassis, and also a set of glass uh, fuses. I have these links below so you can just click on the links and get those too. Very inexpensive but I uh, really appreciate having them when you need them. Well thanks again. We have a lot of videos on hidden tips for the RV and the Sprinter. Please join our channel uh, and watch for those notifications. Take care. Happy camping. Mm -hmm.